Let's connect Redux with React application. Create two folders. One is for components and another is Redux to store Redux files. In the Redux folder, create three files. Reducer.js to store reducer functions. Store.js for the store. And Actions.js to create actions. Copy reducer function and initial state from the index.js to reducer file. Let's copy store to Make sure to import reducer and create store functions. Comment out this all code. Now import something called provider from a React Redux. This provider used to connect Redux store to a React components. We have to pass store in the provider. Now we can use store functionalities in the React application. Create a counter.js component in components folder. Here I am creating a function component using React snippets extension. Just write the counter and import counter component in the app.js file. This is the official documentation of a React Redux library. We are going to learn about this connect method. This connect function connects a React component to a Redux store. It provides its connected component with the pieces of the data it needs from the store and the function it can use to dispatch actions to the store. It works like a higher order component. If you don't know about the higher order component, no need to worry. I have also made one video on it. You can watch it later. Now let's use this connect method in our component. Instead of exporting this component, we will wrap it using a connect method. Import connect method. This method will take it to arguments. For now, just write null and in second part, write our component that we want to wrap. We can use anything from Redux through props in React component. Let's log this props. As you can see, right now in this object, there is only dispatch method available for us. We have to use map state to props method in order to get state from a Redux store. The map state to props and map dispatch to props deals with the, your Redux store state and dispatch method respectively. Let's create this method const map state to props and this method will take state as an argument. We can return state as an object. We must have to pass this method here in the connect method. Now in the log, you can see there is a state of a counter, which is our initial state. We can use this state as a props.state name and it's showing the state.
Now let's create two buttons to increment and decrement counter. On click of this button, we will use a dispatch method coming from props and dispatch action with the type increment. Dispatch decrement for the other button. As you can see here, it is working. Let's play with this extension. As you can see here, whenever I skip or jump to another action, it changes the UI. Now this is not the best practice to dispatch an action. So go to the actions.js file. Now this is what we have done to dispatch an action. Instead of that, there is a way where we can create functions called action creators. This function returns an action object. So let's create them. Don't forget to export them. This increment function will return an object with the type increment. Now here remove all this and call action creators. Make sure to import them. As you can see here, it is working. Now instead of directly dispatching in the button, there is a more efficient way is to use map dispatch to props method. It is almost same as map state to props method. This method takes dispatch as argument and returns a object of methods. Let's create increment counter method which returns a function that dispatches the increment action. Now you can directly use increment counter and decrement counter method from props. By this way, we can use these methods anywhere in the component without writing a dispatch every time. We can also pass payload or details inside the action just like this. Let's pass message in both of these methods. Write incremented and decremented as messages. We also need to make changes here because we are passing more argument. We also need to make changes in the reducer function as well in the initial state. Here right now you cannot see the message state because we haven't mapped it to props yet. So let's add message here. Now as you can see in the log it is showing the message. Let's display it here.
and it's working great. Let's summarize what we did. We have used this provider from a React Redux and passed store to it so that we can use store anywhere in our, in our React app. Then we have created different files for Redux like reducers, actions and store. We have used connect method to connect counter component to a Redux store. In this connect method, we have used two more methods. One method to map state of a store to props and another method is to map dispatch method to props. This is it for this video. In the next video, we will see how to combine more reducers. Stay tuned.